how to claim your Farcaster ID and your Farcaster custody address and add your Farcaster custody address to your MetaMask or other personal wallet. Open your Warpcast application. Click your profile picture at the top left to open your profile. Click the three dots at the top right and select About. In your About is your Farcaster ID and the custody address that is linked to the Farcaster ID. You have to be on mobile for this next step. You're going to go to your settings, advanced, and here you'll have your recovery phrase. This recovery phrase is linked to the custody address. Click on that button and now you're going to use this recovery phrase to get your private key so you can add it to your MetaMask. For the next part, you'll want to be on your desktop so that you can download the client that will recover the private key you need to add it to your MetaMask. Go to Ian Coleman's VIP39 GitHub page. Download the VIP39 standalone HTML file to your desktop. Open the file to access the mnemonic code converter. Scroll down to the BIP39 mnemonic section and enter your recovery phrase. Be sure to change your coin section to Ethereum. To check, your private key should begin with 0x. Scroll down to derive addresses and check the address listed. It should be the same as your FID's recovery address. If it is, your private key is listed on the right. Take the private key to add to any Ethereum compatible wallet. In this case, we're using MetaMask. Open MetaMask and select your address drop-down list. Click the Add Account or Hardware Wallet button at the bottom. Click Import Account. Make sure private key is selected and import your private key. This will add your Farcaster FID account to your wallet. Feel free to change the account name so you don't forget. You can also quickly add this address to your mobile app by scanning the QR code. Now let's make sure we connect our Warpcast address to our Warpcast account. Go back to Warpcast, open your settings, and connected addresses. Log your MetaMask out of Warpcast and reconnect with your new Warpcast address. When you sign to verify, you will see your FID in the metadata. It will be added to your list of connected addresses. And that's it. Going forward, make sure to create and log into all Farcaster dApps with the Warpcast address that holds your FID if you want your FID to sync with other dApps. Otherwise, you might end up making a brand new wallet address or it will be under the wallet address you use to log in and create your account. Let's double check by logging into a private dApp called Farquest made under the Farcaster protocol, but not the Farcaster team themselves. Make sure you are logging in with the Warpcast address that holds your FID. If you set it up correctly, your FID will be visible in your cast profile. And in the far market. this tutorial helped you, feel free to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on Warpcast. What tutorial should I do next? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time!